Time for the Stoner's Minute! What I read and seen about Aleister Crowley and the way he would summon demons, and when he did summon a demon and he drew it, it looked just like an alien gray and like a fucking Dracula fucking cape or some shit. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that shit tripped me the fuck out. I was like, yo, that's a fucking alien. And then when he married his first wife, um, he married her inside one of the pyramids, like illegally and shit. Oh, so shit. shit. Yeah. Fucking, he had a some type of connection there and shit. There. <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't know. I forgot exactly how it went down, but <clears throat> um, yeah, he snuck her in the fucking, the fucking <gasps> pyramid. And then they went to go live in um in Loch Ness, where the Loch Ness monsters at in Scotland. Yeah, and that's where he summons a demon. And then that same little cabin next to the lake, some fucking rock and roll. Fuck it, I forget the dude. Some some rock and roll legend who's like a fucking Satanist bought the cabin and lives in it now or something. Oh damn! Wait, where'd you learn about all this? <laughs> fucking getting high watching YouTube. <laughs> Go ahead, <man>. so, <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking on YouTube. Just look up um Aleister Crowley, the wickedest the wickedest man alive or some shit like that. The wickedest man alive? Oh shit. And always remember that you can stick your radio at the weed stick pool. Stick, smoke, burn. And that's your stoner's minute. Wake and bake.